The mysterious and untimely death of Mozart remains one of the most controversial topics in classical music history. Mozart was only 35 when he died. His death was fairly sudden and definitely unexpected. There have been plays, articles, and movies written about Mozart's death. Many of them are centered around things that have not been proven. The truth is there's still so much we don't know. Of course, we begin with the cloaked, masked stranger that appeared on Mozart's doorstep in 1791. He wouldn't reveal his identity, but he wanted to commission Mozart to write a requiem, religious music for the dead. Mozart was really creeped out by this. He accepted the offer, though, because the man had money, and money was something that Mozart needed badly at the time. All of these thoughts of death now filled Mozart's mind, and it was around this time that his health started to decline. Mozart himself believed he was being poisoned. His whole body was swelling and he began to run a fever, but he continued to compose. Eventually he had to work from his bed. His hands and his feet became enormously swollen and it got to the point where he could no longer hold a pen to compose. On the evening of December 4th, Mozart asked for the Requiem score to be brought to him. He and his friends sang the vocal parts of what he had written so far. Mozart died very early in the morning of December 5th. Since the beginning, doctors, nurses, and other people around Mozart could not agree on what it was that killed him. There was no autopsy done, and no one filled out a death certificate stating a cause of death. Since then, it's been suggested that Mozart died of rheumatic fever, kidney failure, vasculitis, tuberculosis, trichinosis, miliary fever, and of course there's the idea that Mozart was poisoned. Within a week of his death, rumors started that Mozart had been poisoned. Thirty years later, this rumor resurfaced. At a performance of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in 1824, people were handed leaflets which clearly suggested that Mozart had been poisoned by fellow composer Antonio Salieri. In 1825, it's rumored that Salieri confessed to this poisoning. There are a few reasons why we might be skeptical of this. First of all, Salieri's nurses, who were with him around the clock at this point, said they heard nothing about the confession. Even if Salieri had confessed, he was in an asylum and he was mentally unstable. Mozart never did finish the Requiem. After his death, his wife Constanza needed the money from it badly, so she paid a friend to complete it. Since then, there have been several different versions of it. The mysterious stranger, it turns out, was sent by Count Franz Valsack, an amateur musician who had the habit of hiring established composers to write works that he would later pass off as his own. He wanted to honor the memory of his wife, who had passed away the year before. And so this is the story of Mozart's mysterious death. A masked stranger, a count who wanted to plagiarize, the mental instability of Salieri, 200 years of rumors, and at the center of it all, one of the most brilliant composers that history has ever seen.